Scripted and Home Assistant are both popular smart home platforms that allow you to control and automate your smart home. Now what happens when you put them together? You not only build a Swiss Army knife for your smart home, but also enable HomeKit Secure Video for any POE camera. And in this video, I'll show you on how to do it. Hello and welcome to my channel, which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Well, if you didn't know, right up to May 8th, 2023, there was only an unofficial scripted add-on that was supported and updated regularly. However, the project is no longer maintained. And then thanks to this Discord announcement on May 9, 2023, that same unofficial scripted add-on was rolled into the official scripted Home Assistant add-on, making this awesome platform available across the board for any smart home owner. Now, I've been actively using since its release. Now, my smart home will be controlled all by using a single app that will be the Apple Home app. And in the background, we'll be using Home Assistant, HomeBridge and Scripted to build an affordable smart home. Now, to enable the HomeKit secured video for any PoE camera, I will definitely be needing Scripted. And if you didn't know, Scripted is a high performance home video integration and automation platform. And I've done videos installing this awesome software alongside a Raspberry Pi running HomeBridge, a Synology NAS, and even a Mac computer. Now with scripted, camera snapshots and streams are fast, rock solid, reliable, and most importantly, brings HomeKit secured video support to cameras they don't natively support the feature. Now do let me know in the comment section on how your experience has been with scripted. Now, to run the official add-on together with Home Assistant, at a minimum, you need hardware specs that meets a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 GB of RAM. Anything below that does not meet performance standard. And don't worry, I will show you why. So please look into that before making this migration. And obviously you need Home Assistant installed and running in your smart home. Now the best part of this installation, you don't need to paste any line of code since it's an add-on. And together with the Home Assistant Home app, it gives scripted an app interface. You can update camera configurations and most importantly, have a seamless experience right from your phone or tablet. So without any further delay, let's set up the official scripted add-on. Now, before we go into installing the add-on, I just wanted to spend some time on meeting the hardware requirements to run scripted and Home Assistant on the same Raspberry Pi. In my case, my current setup is a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 GB of RAM. And on the left, you will see all of the services installed. And right now you can see my processor and memory usage, which is around about 6% in 1 GB of RAM used without scripted running in the background. That's how the resources are being allocated. Now, once we go into settings and Let's go and start the scripted add-on. Give it a couple of minutes for it to start. You will see that that same processor and memory usage has increased to 20 to 30%. So that's why it's important to have at a minimum a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 GB of RAM, as it all depends on the number of cameras you've installed, for how many number of cameras you've enabled BAM uh, detection and so are the features that scripted will bring along. So you want to take this into consideration before going ahead and installing scripted with your home assistant setup. Now from here, let's go and access that link that I've left in the description to add the add-on in officially into home assistant. Let's scroll down and let's go ahead and copy this link. Let's go ahead and access your home assistant instance, put in your username and password. And then you want to go to settings. You want to click on add-ons. You want to click on add-on store. You want to click on the three dots, repositories, and you want to paste the link here. Click on add, give it a couple of seconds to add the repository. Once the repository is added, click on close. And all you have to do is refresh the web page, log in again, 
Scroll all the way down and you will see the official scripted add-on. Click on it. Click on install. Now from here, it will take between six to 10 minutes to download the add-on before you can go and start it. And thanks to the power of editing, we'll skip towards the end of this install. Now, with the add-on already installed, all we have to do right now is enable the button for show in sidebar and click on start. Now from here, you want to give it a couple of seconds, 15 to 30 seconds for the service to start before we can go and access it. Now with the scripted service starting, let's go ahead and click on scripted. Let's click on management console. And with this official instance, it will go ahead and automatically create a home assistant user. So you don't need to create any user name and password. Now, just in case, if you want to go ahead and connect the scripted service to other cloud services or plugins, you may want to go to users and create an additional user. But again, that's a choice left after you. Now, once this is installed, the first thing I always want to go ahead and update is go to settings you want to select on where this instance is running on. So in my case, I know the IP address. You want to click on this, click on save. Once that is done, you want to go to users. Now this is an optional choice. You can go and add in one in case you want to connect with cloud services, like I mentioned. And if you go to plugins, you can also go to home assistant, notify service, and also enable the home assistant notification all on your cell phone when camera pick up snapshots. Now in my case, everything is going through Apple Home app. I will use that as giving me the snapshot notifications. Now from here, what you're gonna do is go ahead and access all of these links over here, playlists that I have added to add in other cameras into scripted and get all of those cameras enabled with HomeKit secured video into Apple Home app. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers, have a nice day and happy automation.